Uh, hi everyone, uh, greetings from GDG DevFest Ukraine 2017 edition. Uh, this year we want to try something new and we are making interviews with speakers from time to time. Today, right now, I have Lesa Luke with me, hi. UX designer at Rantastic. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, how did you hear about DevFest? Um, it was by accident. <laughs> okay. Um, we had uh, a guy, a designer from Google, coming to Rantastic, okay. and then we just started talking with him, and he recommended me this event. He was very excited about DevFest Ukraine, wow. and uh, because I think he was here um, last year or two years ago. Okay. And then he said, like, yeah, and there is a super event, and you should go there and just contact the guys and blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. And then I just contacted uh, Vitali. Yeah. And then he wrote back to me, and so it started. Cool. Um, so, mainly, uh, DevFest is a developer conference. Mm -hmm. And, uh, like, our last year's statistics was like we had 89% 89, 89 of developers here. Uh, we don't have design stream yet. Mm -hmm. We kind of thought of it, but we don't have that much experience mm -hmm. because we are developers. Like uh, 10 out of 11 people in the organizing team are developers. Mm -hmm. uh, I was a mobile engineer myself. And I like coding, but I'm not that much into design. I thought of it, but not that much. Uh, from your experience as a designer, when is the communication the most fruitful between engineering and design? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I know what you mean because I also was working uh, in my past companies uh, and design was al al always separated from development and it was like two worlds w yeah. which sometimes came in contact. Intersect yeah. <laughs> from time to time. And now I'm working in cross-functional team where we have okay. uh, engineers, uh, designer, QA, um, and product owner, and we all work as a, as a team together okay, like on a, a daily basis. We sit together, we communicate, and okay. we work together on our project. And this is, I, I just see the huge difference in the process and then in the outcome if the team is communicating on a, on the regular basis. Yeah. And I wouldn't say that design is import more important or development is more important. What is really important is this quality of communication. Okay. And if you have constant communication and understanding of, of your colleagues, uh, this brings much more benefits. And I think, like, I really enjoy this way of working and it's really, really very fruitful, as you said. Okay. Yeah. We should definitely try something like that in our team. Uh, like have a full-time designer. Uh, you, d you don't have any? <laughs> uh, that's got a bit of a problem. Uh, right now we are uh, we're building an SDK, mm -hmm. which is mostly focused on developers. But we have a UI part. Mm -hmm. And uh, the way our process was working earlier is um, we were usually building stuff first and then designing. Mm -hmm. Right now we're moving, we're kind of to turn things uh, upside down mm -hmm. and design first and then do the engineering. Mm -hmm. Because it seems that it's, uh, it's less, it's cheaper to fix things during design phase than the development phase. Yes, of course. And we, we also work a kind like that. Okay. But now we are figuring, like we are experimenting all the time with our process okay. and we are trying to figure out new ways because even within one company, in my company where I'm working, we have multiple teams and each team works a little bit different okay. because some things work better for them. And we are, we are even like, of course, design must be a little bit ahead. Yeah, so yeah. developer can that, start working felt. with something already. Yeah. But we are also working together. So yeah. if we see if there, there was a design or some, I don't know, drafts or user flow, and then we start working with that and we discover new problem or, or issues, and then we are just changing as we go yeah. and adapting and reviewing and ad adapting again. Okay. And that's why it's so important that we are together because it's like 
we can change things during one day a few times because we see that something is not working and then we just talk and we fix it as we go. Cool. Um, I've heard about a lot about design thinking, design sprints and everything. Uh, how would you explain design thinking to engineers? Uh, because like, I don't know that much about it. Mm -hmm. What's design thinking? Uh, or I can talk for hours about this topic. <laughs> it's really hard for me to explain it in two words. Uh, one of my former colleagues from my Ukrainian company uh, okay. once just asked me, uh, yeah, what is the thing with design thinking? It's just common sense. And I was like, yes, it's true. It's just <laughs> common sense of how you work. But many companies just don't just lack this process because if you think about it, it's common sense, but it's not implemented yeah, in the yeah. process how companies are working. Yeah. And if I have to explain this in two words, uh, <laughs> okay, like two phrases, maybe. <laughs> uh, the idea behind design thinking is that actually, for me, from my perspective, it's, yeah. it has very much in common with Agile because okay. the idea is that you involve your client, or your customer into your designing Aerospace. process okay. and you get instant feedback from them okay. and you, you just test with them and adopt. To, yeah, like you, you are designing with your user in, in your mind and user is in center of your process. Yeah. Uh, so that's why for me, uh, it has a lot in common with Agile approach. Okay. And I think that these two, how to say, not processes, just ideologists yeah. really fit together. Like common sense, this yeah. common sense just fits. Yeah. Okay. Um, there is this new thing, kind of, uh, probably it's not new, but uh, a lot of people talk about it right now, design sprints. Mm -hmm. I read the book myself, but uh, what is design sprint? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe just tell this to the bigger audience. Yeah. Well, actually, Design Sprint, I think what they did at Google Ventures, they just took this design thinking process because the process itself is a kind of waterfall. Yeah. Uh, and if you are a product company, you probably don't have resources or time to really for this discovery phase, which may last for weeks or weeks. months. Yeah. And I think what they did, they just took this process and adopted it and packed it into five days okay. where also product companies and small companies can effort it and just do it in their development process. Yeah. So basically, uh, what is Design Sprint? Um, it's a method, let's say it like yeah. that, where you can uh, develop and test your, uh, your idea with real customers without building MVP within five days. Ideally. Like it's recommended yeah. to, to have it for five days. Cool. Uh, and I think it's really good investment. Um, some companies say like, oh, five days, this is such a long period. We have to take developer from their regular work and then ju they just just wasting yeah, five yeah. days. But if you think about that, if you would test your idea and see, oh, uh, this doesn't work. And we wasted only five days for that. And we really saved money at the end because yeah. if you would build that idea and then after building MVP and launching MVP, you would say, oh, it doesn't work. You would waste then a few months yeah, true. and much more money. So I think it's, it's very useful um, tool. Yeah, to actually, um, once we started getting uh, the product company I work at right now, GetSocial, and once we started getting more feedback faster, uh, we kind of started thinking about making this a KPI inside. Like, how much feedback do you get during uh, mm -hmm. development phase mm -hmm. or like even design phase? Because the faster we get feedback, the the faster we iterate, change, and yeah, design exactly. something that makes more sense for the end user. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just getting feedback, and you you can adopt. You see what's working, what is not working, yeah. and you can change things immediately. Yeah. Um, here at the Dafest, you had a workshop about design sprints. Mm -hmm. um, what is the best way to have an effective five-day design sprint? Uh, what do you mean best way? <laughs> okay, uh, like, uh, how do you make... Uh, so you mentioned that, uh, like, for developers, uh, often when you talk about design, they're like, oh, you know what, I, I don't want to just spend my five days without mm -hmm. coding. Like, I want to do something. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, this may be kind of a bit 
uh, irritating for them, but this is a vital part of having a design sprint effective. Yeah, I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. uh, like, what are common pitfalls and how to avoid them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Uh, well, th th I see here two issues actually. Uh, first is the word design, because as most of us are not nat English native speakers and we think about design like some visual thing, so drawings, UI, and stuff like that. But it's not about that. Uh, that's why. That, that, that's a good point. That's yeah. why we sometimes we and I see different companies they don't use the term design sprint, uh, okay. but they say product sprint or innovation sprint, just to avoid cool. this uh, yeah. this uh, like um, ah it's design stereotype. It's, yeah. yeah. This is the first thing, and second thing. Um, I think it's not as much about process because process is only a tool you are using it's yeah. more about the mindset okay uh it's about having growth mindset and this what in in usa they say embracing failure so okay. just perceiving failure not as a fail but as learning yeah. because if you fail your idea if your idea was fail uh it's not a catastrophe but it's learning and you yeah. learn something and you know that uh -huh, I, I shouldn't do that because it doesn't work and this is actually gaining yeah um, and it's very important that your management in your company where you want to do this that they realize this because then they will see the benefit if there is no this mindset yet or if you are working in micromanaged uh, environment um, this may probably even not work for you uh, because I saw I saw uh, design sprints in different companies, uh, like try trying to do design yeah. sprints and stuff like that, uh, where or executives <laughs> yeah. simply didn't didn't understand the idea behind yeah. it, and it unfortunately it didn't really work because yeah, because you have to onboard people. They were that, not ready for this yeah. yet. Okay. Um, at this conference, we have a lot of people from big companies, big names, the products we use daily. Um, and Runtastic is one of those. Mm -hmm. uh, so quite often people ask, like, how can I get to Twitter, Google, Runtastic? Yeah. How can I get to <laughs> Runtastic? Uh, yeah, maybe I, I'm allowed to make some disclosure. We are hiring. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So just apply. Runtastic is hiring. Just apply. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you're interested. Uh, I don't know. I think at Runtastic, the process is really transparent. Yeah. Uh, we get a lot of applications and we, our HR department is doing a really great job and they are just reviewing uh, applications and if they see that candidate is good or promising or passionate, yeah. or they will contact you and, and then, yeah, you just go through the process and if you are good, you are in. <laughs> okay. Um, then, like, maybe some people should try. Um, well, thanks, uh, Lesa, for being here. Thank you. Um, this was quite an interesting conversation. Probably developers should learn more about design, UX, and product side of the things, and make the products better. Uh, Lesa, thank you very much, and uh, let's have a break. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.